What's up guys, it's Tuesday and I am trying this whole vlogging during the week thing. Um, had work today, went over to Kenny's for a bit, now we're out and about doing a little bit of Pokemon hunting and looking at some locations for possible photo shoots. We've got Empire Comic Con coming up in three days, or three days away. Three days and I'm really looking forward to that, looking forward to the after party, get to see a lot of my friends, get to boogie down, shake my rump, racks and effects. Anyway, hope you guys are well. So, just got 20 minute workout done. Um, just did a bit of yoga. Did, it was mostly boxing. Um, did a lot of the heavy bag, probably for 10 minutes. Did five minutes on the speed bag. I got that rigged up with a cinder block. Uh, did the stairs in between rounds. Um, I did one minute, 45 second rounds. 15 seconds rest and resting was jogging on the stairs. I am out of, out of shape. Last year at this time, I was absolutely killing it. I was killing it, I'm not killing it now. But I will, I'm gonna murder it, I'm gonna get back into it. Um, yeah, that's all I got for you. Uh, it's a uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Thursday. It's Thursday. I just got done. Got done with my boxing. Um, lately, <laughs> it's weird. It's when I used to have a trainer uh, when I was training to fight. I wasn't training professionally, but I was training with somebody who used to do it and uh, doing daily lessons. And he used to always yell at me, "Get your hands up! You're gonna get hit in the face. You keep your hands down. You're getting hit in the face." And he, every time I put my hands down, he popped me in the face, one of the chin, side of the head. Let me know. Lately, I feel like life has been hitting me in the face. I've been over here bitch moaning and complaining about it, not doing anything, slipping into old habits, pissing myself off. And I realized I could just put my fucking hands up. I could stop the punches. Some of them are gonna get through, but I could stop a lot of them. And I need to do that. So today's workout, I focused on keeping my fists up and, and paying attention to what I was doing and, and really channeling my focus on what I was doing. So here's a little clip coming up. I gotta get a shower. It's convention day, and what would that not be but without a trip to the costumer to pick up a last minute thing? So, we are live at the uh, Empire State Comic Con. Here's Flash Gordon over there, kind of getting ready. Mickey, say hello. Hey! Hello, Mickey. And uh, we're just getting settled in, but we had a little snafu at the door. They didn't know what to do with the Groupon passes, they couldn't figure it out. It was like, yes, we do complex engineering. So, otherwise, they were good about giving us our badges and just sending us through. And Kenny's going to do a photo shoot, and I'm gonna go look around. So I just made a loop around the con floor. I'm hoping this place starts to populate. Um, there's a lot of vendors here, um, and that's a lot of the a lot of the attendees are just the vendors right now. So I'm hoping that it starts to fill up. But anyway, so Kenny and I just got done meeting with uh, the Terminator himself, Robert Patrick, and also he was Doggett in the X Files. That is us meeting him, and he was the nicest guy. Took the time to chat with us. We were the only ones in the line because it's Friday, so he was super nice. Kept telling Kenny that her hair was gorgeous and that she looked like Daenerys from the Game of Thrones, so now I have to buy her a dragon. So that's the thing that's gotta happen. And I'm knocking over Mickey's shit, so I'm gonna stop moving the table now and continue vlogging this awesome con. Too sweet. 
So Kenny and Chloe are up there uh, working on her Spider Gwen set. It's a very windy alleyway, so I don't know. Uh, I don't know if you'll be able to hear any of this, but yeah, that's what's going on right now. Chloe's being extra for the vlog. I wanted to give you guys a little bit of a post-mortem on yesterday. Um, it seems like this convention is undergoing some growing pains. I know people that were guests that struggled a little bit getting things uh, done in a timely manner, getting things wrapped up properly, um, not having badges for guests, telling people that were guests uh, that the hotel had been booked out and they weren't able to get uh, rooms and then it turns out that the hotel still had openings. People were showing up randomly and just getting rooms. Um, the QR readers couldn't read the barcodes from the sales from Groupon, so they were getting four people involved before we got let in, which is fine. And I understand there's growing pains. This is only the second year, but it's run by Altered Reality, who runs Rhode Island Comic Con, and those guys are phenomenal. So I'm hoping that this is just a bad case of growing pains. They're going to get through it, and this convention is going to continue to be kick-ass. Um, some of the vendors weren't set up yesterday. On Friday, the opening day, we showed up and there was probably, out of the, we'll say, 80 tables that were on the floor, there were probably like seven or eight that were empty. So I'm hoping when we get there today for day two, that those will be uh, full up and it'll be some good vendors. Uh, it was it was nice. There was a lot of just people wandering around and I know today's going to be slam packed. So I'm out, <clears throat> I'm out doing some errand running and picking up some things for uh, Kenny's birthday. So I am out here day two as a uh, Hellboy. Oh my head and hand are chilling over there. I can't see shit out of the costume. And uh, somebody walked by and took a look at me, gave me an up and down, gave me the thumbs up, said awesome. And then they said, that's a cool gender bent Hellboy. And I am not gender bending Hellboy. Um, I think it was because my chest looks larger I mean, my chest is larger because I'm fat, but it looks larger in this compression shirt and gray shirt than I would like it to. So, kind of took the damn wind out of my sails for a hot minute here, but I'm trying to recover, trying to look at it this way. They didn't know. They couldn't tell. But uh, don't, don't make assumptions about people. So, it is day two. There's Frank. There's Dom. We are wandering around in costume. I had to stop and take another break because it is hotter than the devil's dick in that thing. And, uh... Yeah, I'm slowly dying here, but I'm having a good time. People are taking a lot of pictures, which surprised me. I've gotten stopped for more pictures than I think any of my other costumes, so that's what I'm doing. So, hi, Allison. Hi, everybody. So I'm hanging out. Uh, Chloe and Kenny are shooting in an alleyway in a nondescript location in Gotham City, and uh, we're going to check in. We are on our way out of day two of Empire State Comic Con. I am exhausted. The Nerdy Monkey is also exhausted. Thank you so much. Bye again. And uh, <laughs> we're gonna go home, get cleaned up, get some food, and continue with the evening's festivities. <laughs> Day three last night was awesome. It was Kenny's birthday. We went out to uh, Waterworks, then we went to the after party, then we went back to Waterworks. It was crazy. There was drinking, there was dancing, there was debauchery. It was everything that you could expect from an awesome birthday with our tribe. So thank you to everybody that came along and made Kenny's birthday fucking awesome because it was so cool to see her so happy. But anyway, I'm getting in Casey Jones now. I think I'm going to enter the cosplay contest with Hellboy at 2 o'clock, so I'm going to deal with that. Be well. All right, I am suited up. I am on my way over to Con. Bye. Jose Canseco special that I actually paid money for. 
And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing you guys in there. Be well. So this is arguably the worst angle for this, but. Oh. So I just got done competing in the Empire State uh, cosplay contest. I entered the novice category. I didn't place, I'm not mad at it. Um, there were a lot of great makers. Uh, my friends Aaron and Mick won, which are amazing, and their costumes were so, super dope, and, and like there was so much talent and, and hard work put into them. So, I mean, uh, Aaron won intermediate, Mick won master class, so you guys both rock. Anyway, I am going to get out of this change into uh, famine, regular ass famine clothes and uh, enjoy the rest of the con. And then Kenny and I are going to go shoot this bad boy later today. Too sweet. So I am up here walking around and uh, waiting for Kenny. She's doing some shoots. Like I said, she and I are going to get together and shoot. It's been good seeing everybody. I've stopped and chatted with some friends ate some lunch and now I'm just relaxing this is the fun the, the best part of this for me is I just get to wander around and be me and say hello to people and talk to people who only saw me in costume Oh, you're recording? Yeah. What's that? I wish I had my Denki cosplay ready. Oh my god. Does it make your life complete? Thank you. 